Fun fact, this is my favorite Bath & Body Works candle. Okay, that's all I had to say. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sam, but I also go by the Thrifty Daisy on other platforms such as Poshmark, Instagram, eBay, Mercari, and other ones just like that. I am currently coming at you from my living room floor. I thought it would be a little cozier to, oh, by the way, my cat is also here. So she might make a few guest appearances. With that being said, she is, she's wanting attention right now as well. I'm going to put you back up here. All right, let's start with the shoes. So the first pair of shoes I wanted to show you guys, they are Saludos and they are these really cute espadrilles in pretty good condition. It looks like they have been worn a few times, but nothing crazy because it's not very worn out or anything. Um, the embroidery is just adorable. I love the cactus. If I would possibly like wearing espadrilles, then I would probably keep these for myself because they are really cute. So I just thought that these were a really cute pickup. I know they probably won't sell once we get closer into fall and winter, but if anyone is still looking for any kind of like adorable espadrilles to wear for the summer and they're a plant mom or a plant dad or plant person, then these are just perfect. And they are a size seven and a half. The next pair of shoes that I wanted to show you guys are these little heels. Um, I'm not sure exactly the style name or like what kind of heel this would be. I need to learn more. But what I love about picking up Sam Edelman is that when you go to look for the size, the actual style name is usually, well, not usually, I'm pretty sure it's always located right by the size. So for example, these are a size seven and the style name is going to be right there. Excuse the fact that my nails are not painted. The style name, if you guys could not see it, it is the Devry, D-E-V-R-Y. So I just thought that these Sam Edelman little heels, pointed toe heels, one inch heel maybe, thought that these were, were perfect for um, like wearing to the office or date night or possibly ladies who like to shop in heels. Yeah, I just thought that these were a really cute pickup for the right person. The next pair of heels that I'm going to show you are by Steve Madden. They're actually the Madden brand, um, but these are kind of like a transition from summer into fall. So there's both of them but they have beautiful embroidery on the front and the back. Like I said, I thought that these were perfect for fall. Um, they remind me of Thanksgiving, like Thanksgiving in a hot state where you don't really get fall, so where you could still wear sandals or heels or like a fall wedding. I just really think that these would be really cute. So the bottoms are not very worn at all. Um, I will have to, take that off. Um, actually, it's kind of coming off of my finger right now. Anyways, I usually just use rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover to get any kind of markings off the bottom of shoes because for some reason thrift stores think that is a great idea. And um, yeah, that's how I get that off the bottom of shoes. So I will have to do that. To most of these shoes, they have marks on the bottom um, somewhere that I haven't always shown you guys, but that tends to be a thing that is involved in the cleaning process of the shoes. Anyways, on to the next one. These booties I was so excited to find because they're perfect for the holidays, one. Second, they are Lucky Brand. And if you're familiar with my closet, you know that I love picking up Lucky Brand. There are certain pieces I will not pick up, but for the most part, I love Lucky Brand. I just really, enjoy the style and everything about it. Um, the boots unzip like that. These are in a size seven. 
the there is the writing again that I'm probably gonna get all over my hands but they are a little worn I would say they're in gently used condition it is not too worn there as you can see just a little scuffed on the bottom I thought that these would be a really good pickup for the holidays um, if not Thanksgiving or Christmas a little western girl could wear these for new year's i um just really like them and i am really being drawn to like the metallic pieces speaking of the metallic pieces i have these sam edelman ballet flats i heard that ballet flats are currently trending or they will be for the fall and winter so when i saw these i knew i had to pick them up because they are perfect for the fall and winter and anyone that wants to play Dorothy in Wizard of Oz. But other than that, the bottoms are in fairly good condition. They are a seven and a half. Maybe all of these shoes came from the same person. I just realized that, but yeah. All right, the last pair of shoes that I am going to show you guys are these cowgirl boots. And I actually wasn't familiar with the brand. Um, I guess I am. They are Antonio Milani. So there is that. They do have some like water stains on the bottom, but other than that, they are actually in really great condition and then just a little used right there. But I thought that these were really cool. Um, I want to say I got these at the Goodwill and not like the local thrift. Uh, this says United States of America, five cents. So I thought that that was really neat. Um, there is another one up there. And yeah, overall, these are just some really cute boots for the fall. I feel like the lights are kind of making them a little bit darker than they are, but the inside from what I can show you guys is in pretty good condition, like, like new condition. And these are a size six and a half. So these did not come from the same person who donated all the rest. So that is it for shoes. So now I'm going to move on to pants and jackets. Okay, so we are now gonna do pants and jackets. And the first thing I'm gonna start with are these one by one teaspoon bandits relaxed fit long rise button fly twisted cuff hem shorts that was a very long title but it's all right there in case you guys wanted to know what it was again and uh these are in a size 26 they do have the button fly the distressed hem and they are just in really good condition the next pair of shorts that I found are by BDG and they are the surf short in a size 27. They also have the button fly and they are distressed. I tend to have luck selling BDG shorts and not so much the jeans. Just keep picking up the shorts while I find them. The next pair of shorts are Lucky Brand size double zero or size 24. I picked these up because of the embroidery. I'm a sucker for embroidery. I, I just can't pass it up. And they were in excellent condition. The next thing that I picked up is a We The Free size four. And it is a romper. I was gonna say I thought it was a vest, but it is a romper. So it is collared, has the zipper, kind of like a side diagonal zip, sort of. Am I looking at that right? Wait. Yeah, it's like a diagonal zip, if I'm looking at it correctly. Um, I am going to try to find the stock photo for this because I'm clearly not making it look the best right now. And then it belts and buckles right there. Like I said, this is We The Free and it is a size four. So I know that Wild Fox isn't doing the best right now. Also, I guess this is part of like the jackets that I had in here. 
Um, but this is a wild fox size large, like just sweater. And it is in gently used condition, but I just really like the graphic on here. So I thought that that would help it sell the graphic I thought would help it sell. Um, I know a few years ago, wild fox used to be really big if you picked it up. Now I know it isn't that much uh, it like it's not as popular anymore, but I'm going to try to give it a shot. I have sold one piece by wild fox before, but that's it. I'm pretty sure. I actually don't even know if I sold that piece. Where did that piece go? Anyways. So this piece, I was extremely excited to find. Honestly, it might not really be anything, but who knows? Uh, and when I got to the cashier, she literally called the manager to the front of the store to look at this and look at what it was tagged for. And they didn't change the price. And I was really surprised because they have done that to me before where they've taken a piece into the back and realized they didn't have it lit, like on the floor for the right price. So they changed the price on me and then they come back to the cash register and ask me if I still want it. Well, they didn't do that with this piece, which I was so grateful for. And that is because it is a Louis Vuitton, hopefully I'm saying that right, made in Italy, size medium, uniform, like bomber jacket kind of sorta i have to figure out exactly what this is but there is the logo right there like i said it is a uniform so i'm not sure if this is even worth anything but i've never found louis louis vuitton I totally tell i've never found it before or have ever even owned a piece myself because i can't even say the name <laughs> honestly what i saw first were the buttons if you're able to see that i don't know like how to get it to focus but if you're able to see the buttons that's what stood out to me and so i picked this up right away i threw it in my cart i think it was the very first thing that i found when i walked into the store and they didn't change the price so when i checked out the pajama slash like intimates lingerie section i found a few pajama sets and i'm going to show you guys what i found this is Victoria's Secret size large. The long pants and then here is the top that goes with it. That is what the pattern looks like. It is just, oh my gosh, I forgot the word, feathers. It is feathers all over the pajama set, but it is both a long sleeve and long pant PJ set from Victoria's Secret size large. All right, the next pajama set that I found is Victoria's Secret. It is a size medium. Here are the shorts. And then here is the top piece. So it buttons down in the front. Here is what the pattern looks like. And this one is shorts and short sleeve. So this was a fun find. The next pajama set that I found is, you guessed it, Victoria's Secret. I really like this one. It is a size medium, a collared polka dot, short sleeve. Here is the pattern. And then here are the matching shorts. They are also size medium. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious like that the shorts match the top the size, but I feel like I have to say it, you know, just in case. This one is actually a little sheer, but it would be perfect for anywhere that gets like hot and humid at night. All right, the next set that I found is Victoria's Secret. It is a size large. It has the V right there. This is more of like a lounge set. It's just the tank style top. And then the shorts, super comfy. I would have loved to find this in my size. I would have kept it without any questions. The material is just so soft. And if I did not say it, these are a size large. This is Victoria's Secret, size large. If I can get it untwisted. This is like a little romper lingerie 
la di da set. <laughs> it is really cute though. I love the floral pattern. It's in great condition. So I'm really excited to get this up and listed. I have a feeling it will sell on Depop. If not Depop, then it will definitely sell on Poshmark. This is a new to me brand. And honestly, this probably wasn't a good pickup, but I have an issue with like when I find a new to me Bolo brand in the wild, I just want to pick it up. Like I, 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 I cannot not pick it up just to see if I'm able to sell it. So I kind of did that with this one and this is Matilda Jane. This is a size small and I have heard about this brand um from a few different other youtubers on here and i believe that this brand matilda jane has like matching pieces for mothers who want to match with their daughters or like sisters that match so i'm sure there is a matching kid piece out there but i thought this was super cute i love the bat wing sleeves i love i love this pattern i'm holding this together in the back because I'm just too lazy to do this but here we go let me do it right now so yeah that is what that looks like and I'm excited to see if this is going to do anything if not I might not pick up this brand again but it was worth a shot this is a size petite from Talbots perfect for the office or like a fancy date night I picked this up because of all of those. I mean, really, how cute is that? I checked every single one and they are perfect. There are no flaws in any of them and they are down both sides. So I probably should have buttoned this up so you guys could see it better, but this is the shirt. It is just a long sleeve button up pinstripe embroidered jeweled top from Talbot's size petite. So I did stop in TJ Maxx and I picked up a few things for myself, mostly from the yellow tag sale, but I did pick up a few things that I'm throwing in to resell as well. Just because of the price, I couldn't pass it up. So the first thing that I got was this Intimates by Free People or intimately by free people, is that, is that how I'm saying it? This is what I mean by the yellow tag sale. I believe that TJ Maxx has the yellow tag clearance sale every January and July. I don't think I saw it in my TJ Maxx's till August this year though, so I could be wrong about that. But I picked this up just because of the price and I like to have free people stuff in my closet. Obviously with the holiday seasons coming up, this should do well. This was the only other thing that I picked up from TJ Maxx to resell. Like I said, everything else that I picked up, I did keep for myself. So this is a brand that I've never found out in the wild. This was a red tag and this is by the brand Pistola. And I actually thought it is a size small. I actually thought that this would be really cool for my boyfriend, but he said, go ahead and resell it. So that is what I am going to do. Thought it'd be a really cool shirt for like a New Year's or an event or obviously like 4th of July because of the stars. But I just thought that the pattern was really cool. It's a novelty print and I love novelty prints. So I'm excited to see how this one does. All right, we are down to the final and last bag. This should be all dresses if I'm not mistaken. So let's just get started. The very first piece that I pulled out is a Free People, I believe. Let me see. It's another Intimately by Free People and it is a size small. It has these buttons in the back if you want to button them up, but this is what it looks like. It is just a black dress, a lace crochet dress. Thought it'd be perfect for date night girls night out. You could also pair this with like a denim jacket for the fall um, with some like cowgirl boots. I thought this would be really cute. So I am excited to add that into my closet. 
So this I was extremely excited to find. They actually had two, but the other one, which was marked up for a higher price, had a huge stain on it. So I unfortunately don't really deal with cleaning clothes and getting the stains out and stuff like that. I will clean shoes and that's about it. But this is a 411 Lemon size extra small. This is a favorite brand of mine right now. And look how adorable this dress is. Like, for real, look like, hold on. Let me see if I can hold this up the right way for you guys. So here is what it looks like. So it's like a V-neck. The sleeves are adorable. The pattern is this heart pattern, perfect for Valentine's Day, but we're not anywhere near there. And it also has a tie waist. Actually, this is a wrap dress. So it is a genuine wrap dress. So that's nice. I didn't know that when I picked it up. And it is extra small. I think I already said that, but here is what the back looks like. And I love picking up 411 Lemons. It's one of my favorite brands. I actually don't own any 411 Lemons pieces myself personally, but I think that is probably my seventh or eighth piece that I picked up to sell. All right, we're getting close to the end guys, I promise. <laughs> As I'm unfolding this, can you already guess the brand? If you didn't, that's okay. I will show you. It's Lily, of course. This is a size small, a Lily Pulitzer size small, like tank style dress with this V-neck front. It does have a hidden zipper in the back. I really love this pattern. This was another piece that the lady at the cash register called the manager over to double check the price. I wouldn't normally pick up this dress. I believe I picked it up. Yes, I picked it up because it is new with tags. It's by the brand Kenzie. And it honestly looks really great, I think, for Thanksgiving, an engagement session, an engagement party, a bridal shower party, a bridal session, like a photography photo shoot, Christmas, church on Christmas day. Um, probably wouldn't want to wear this to a wedding, but I believe that this, why did I say I believe? But I just thought that this was a really pretty dress to pick up for the winter because it has these long sleeves, I guess, depending on how long your arm is, it might be more of three, four sleeves. But also if you look closely at the pattern, this is all velvet, which is just beautiful. I, I love velvet. I probably love a million things that I've said in this video, but as you can see, I tend to pick up things that I like myself. I'm trying to get out of that phase and go towards more styles that I am not used to, but progress, not perfection, right? Anyways, this is a size small Kenzie dress. It does have the hidden zipper in the back and then it has the tie at the waist. Just an overall great dress for the holidays, I think. The next piece that I picked up, which I just remembered I picked this up the other day and I was like, where did I put that? And then I realized I have had it sitting here waiting to do a haul for you guys. I have never found this brand out in the wild before. This is Olivacious. It is a size small. And if I don't end up trying this dress on and falling in love with it, I am very excited to try to sell it and see what happens because right now this pattern, these colors, everything is just me. Like I feel like I am learning a new Sam, if that makes sense, and falling in love with new styles that the Sam 10 years ago would have never been caught dead wearing. And now I'm like, actually that's kind of cute. That's like this. And for Love and Lemons, 10 years ago, I would have never been caught dead wearing for Love and Lemons. And now every new piece I find, I'm just like, I kind of want to keep that. But I'm going to try my best not to do that with this piece. It is absolutely stunning. There is the back. 
And for the record, you can close the front if you need to. I most likely, if I end up keeping it, will wear it closed like that because I don't like to show off too much as there isn't too much to show off. So with that being said, here is what these sleeves look like. They, they cinch at the cuff and I am excited to see how this dress does. If I did not say it already, it is a size small. Oh, so I actually did pick this up at the TJ Maxx sale as well. I guess I hid it underneath all of the other dresses. This was a red tag. And this is by Zara. Still has the tag on it, but I thought that this dress would be great for New Year's or holidays or honestly anything really. It's a one shoulder. Look at this pattern. This is another pattern that is like so me right now. Anything floral really, but I just, I love it. I love the like gold detailing throughout and I just love the cinching and everything. I'm not too sure how a one shoulder dress would look on me as I don't really do well with like tube tops or anything like that, but the one shoulder makes it tempting. But this is a size medium so that it might actually fit me. Thank you. This so I thought that this was a different brand when I originally picked it up and I was really excited and I thought the dress was beautiful and I thought about doing a photo shoot <laughs> in this dress. But anyways, that's beyond the point. This is a size small Dolce Vita collection, new with tags. And it is like a gold goddess, Greek goddess, like, huge maxi dress not huge but a maxi dress it's just very very long as you can see but I I, I love this like I imagine myself <laughs> I imagine myself wearing this dress and standing on the rocks at the beach like the jetties hopefully not falling off to my death but just with the dress like flowing in the wind with the gold and the sunset and yeah I do do some modeling on the side. Um, I share mostly on my personal Instagram, but if you do follow my thrifty Instagram, which I will leave down below, um, you can also find me at the thrifty daisy on Instagram, but sometimes I share my personal work over there if you ever want to check it out. And last but not least, we have a trafalic. So a Zara Trafalic, size medium. And it is this like patchwork dress. I thought this would be great for the fall. When I saw this, I thought like grandma core, um, cottage core, I wouldn't say fairy core, but just very, whatever the trending cores are right now. But I just really like the different patterns throughout this dress. It is a thicker material, not very stretchy. Three-fourths sleeve, could be long sleeve if you have little arms. Hidden zipper in the back. And yeah, thought this would be a really cool dress to try out for fall. So that is it for my big thrift haul that I have been saving for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do like these types of videos, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel down below to keep an eye out for more videos like this. I have a new video coming up next week, but I don't think I'm going to give you the details of it yet. If you have made it this far, leave a comment down below saying cat. C-A-T. Bye. Actually, that's kind of hot. <laughs>